UK Indian opposition leader Rahul Gandhi has lost his parliamentary seat after a court found him guilty of defamation over his remarks about Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's surname. And he was disqualified from the lawmaking body. A parliamentary statement said on Friday, They are the two potential candidates to be the next Prime Minister of India, the most powerful post in the country. Let's see who scores better in various aspects and who's more powerful at the end of this video. Welcome to my channel for that. Let's start with the political experience. Narendra Modi has been actively involved in politics since the early 1980s and has served as the Chief Minister of Gujarat from 2001 to 2014 before becoming the Prime Minister of India. Rahul Gandhi, on the other hand, entered politics in 2004 and has held various positions within the Indian National Congress but has never held any executive positions at the national level. Modi scores a point here comfortably. On the ideological front, uh, Modi's political ideology is often described as right-wing and Hindu nationalist, whereas Gandhi is seen as a liberal and secular politician. In case you don't know the difference between the left and right wing. Left wing is characterized by an emphasis on ideas such as freedom, equality, rights, progress, and reform. While the right wing is characterized by an emphasis on notions such as authority, hierarchy, order, duty, and tradition. Both gets a point here because both has pros and cons to it. Next aspect is the communication style. Modi is known for his powerful and impactful speeches, often delivered in Hindi, that connects with the masses. Gandhi, on the other hand, is known for his soft-spoken approach and often criticized for his lack of charisma and inability to connect with orders. Modi scores a point here for his powerful speeches. On the personal background, Modi comes from a humble background and rose to power through hard work and determination. In contrast, Gandhi comes from a political dynasty and is the son of former Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi and the grandson of former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. Modi scores a point here because Modi came up without any powerful family background. Next aspect is the leadership style. Modi is seen as a decisive and authoritarian leader, while Rahul Gandhi is seen as a more collaborative and consultative in his approach. I believe both the leadership styles can help to lead the country successfully. So both gets a point here. On the economic policies front, Modi's government has implemented a number of economic reforms such as the goods and services tax, GST, and the demonetization of high-value currency notes. While Rahul Gandhi has been critical of these policies, uh, but Modi scores a point here without much effort. On the foreign policy front, Modi has pursued an aggressive foreign policy seeking to assert India's influence on the global stage, while Rahul Gandhi has been more cautious in his approach to foreign affairs. Modi scores a point here again comfortably. And about the social policies, Modi's government has launched several social welfare programs such as the Pradhan Mantri Jandan Yojana, which is to provide banking for all citizens and the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan to cleanse the nation. While well, Gandhi has been critical of the government's record on social welfare. Modi scores a point here again because these policies have helped the nation a lot. Last one on the list is image and perception. Modi is widely seen as a strong and dynamic leader who has transformed India's economy and boosted its global profile. While Rahul Gandhi is often criticized for his lack of leadership and inability to connect with orders. Modi scores again with ease. We all have a clear winner here without much to debate. It is Narendra Modi who will most probably be the Prime Minister again. Thanks for watching my video. Please do like, subscribe and press the bell icon to see more videos like this one. See you soon.